Hi, welcome back everyone. This video is specifically about Ivita babies and other knockoffs like MPK, for example. So Ivita is a company in China that are taking genuine artist sculpts. In this doll's case, it is either Victor or Victoria, that the same head, just different bodies, by Sheila Michaels. So... Sheila has painstakingly created those sculpts and then this company has bought one of them. It is a full body vinyl sculpt and then they've made this full body silicone mold from, from that sculpt and they're selling them for about $500. Um, that's in Australian dollars and shipping them out from China. There's a lot of speculation about these dolls other than the fact that they're still in sculpts, which is bad enough in itself. So the first problem, well, second problem outside of the being stolen is what are they made out of? So they advertise them as being made out of platinum silicone. The problem with that, as I've mentioned in the previous video, is this is also considered platinum silicone. So when I buy my silicone to pour a baby, this is Ecoflex 20. So on the page I buy the silicone from, it says Platinum Silicone Ecoflex Shore 20. So so the Shore is just how firm it is or how squishy it is. But it is still Platinum Silicone, but it's classified as Ecoflex. They're saying this one is also Platinum, but not specifying which. Other people are saying that their babies stink when they receive them. This baby doesn't. So I got this one from uh, Gumtree, about $50. Someone bought it, found out it's not a genuine silicone, decided to get rid of it. I bought it with the purpose of educating and doing videos like this. Um, so yeah. A lot of people have reported them having a bad smell. She doesn't. I have seen a few of these dolls in person and not one of them have had a bad smell. Another thing said about them is that they're made of tin silicone. This may be true up until the last, say, 18 months, two years for Ivita. They are no longer made out of tin silicone. People are now buying them and painting them and selling them as genuine silicone dolls which in itself is wrong. So if, when you use silicone paint, it will only stick to silicone. It will not stick, stick to tin silicone. So I use Psycho Paint and Pigment, but it will not stick to tin silicone. It does stick to these. Um, I've seen enough people paint them to know that it does stick to them, which means it is not tin silicone. That doesn't make them okay to buy though. Um, with regards to people painting them and then selling them without saying, hey, this is an Ivita doll, that's bad for many reasons. So it's very hard to get into the silicone world, like for painting. A blank kit about, say, Beth's size. She's 20 inches. I know of a blank kit here in Australia. It's a company, genuine company, sells 19-inch full-body kits, with ball jointed heads like this, um, which is what oops, Hannah has, for $1,500. So that's a huge startup fee when it comes to painting a baby. So you're looking at that for the kit, and then some places charge postage, some don't. But then you also need the paint, the pigments, the sponges, the thinner, matting powder, heaps and heaps of stuff. Everything has to be latex free, including your gloves, your sponges, or it won't set. So there's a big start out cost when you want to sell these babies. Don't go buying these ones as your first babies to paint just because they're cheaper and to get your foot in the door. Because then you're supporting Ivita and companies like them that are stealing other hardworking sculptors work. If you want to get your foot into the silicone world you may need to do what myself and a lot of people have done so i've purchased i think a total of five so we've got hannah 
Beth, this bub who I don't know her name, another one that was 12 inches that I've already sold, and a 10 inch that is currently in a box for her own safety. Um, I bought them all reasonably cheap. I think Beth, he was my most expensive. I won't go into what I paid for them because that's you know, personal. But you can repaint them, give them hair, fix them up. They may not be perfect once done because they're not a blank kit to start with. But at least you're doing, you know, using a genuine sculpt, genuine work that you can sell with good conscience. Painting this one and selling it and not telling the person you're selling it to is an Ivita. It's wrong for so many reasons. Like you're supporting a Chinese company that didn't do any work to get this baby, that have no claim to it and no legal ability to sell it as silicone or in any other form. They also create them in vinyl, which they're not allowed to do. Another thing about painting and then selling this baby without telling the person it's Ivita, I think about 98% of reborn groups, especially buy and sell, will not allow Ivita, MPK, any of those in their group. You're not allowed to post pictures about, you know, this is what I'm doing with my baby, isn't it cute? Nothing like that. Even in sharing care groups, a lot of the time you cannot post these babies. You cannot sell them in pretty much every buy and sell um, Facebook reborn group because they are stolen sculpt. We don't like them. We will not let you sell them in our groups. So when someone buys this baby, fully painted by a so-called artist, they think, oh, wait, but this baby's okay because I bought it from an artist. And then they post it on a Reborn group that probably doesn't like Ibiza. All proud of their baby, only to be told, hey, that's a knockoff. Can't be in this group, which then upsets people. There are care and share groups like my... Baby B Reborn Nursery Care and Share on Facebook. I do accept any doll into it, any reborn doll, silicone or other, even knockoffs. If you already own the doll, if you join the group and you already own a knockoff and then you go buy more, then it's going to cause issues because I try to educate about them. There will be another video on buying a reborn um and i guess kind of like not only buying them but why stay away from the cheap ones they're cheap for a reason you're better off paying a deposit using it as a deposit and getting a better one so that'll be another video that i'll probably film another day because i now have two to upload <laughs> hope you've enjoyed this video like and subscribe you can contact me on facebook through my private account of Sarah Jane Clulo. My little icon thingy, I think it is, is a cat meme of two cats laying next to a newborn baby on a change table. Or through Baby B Reborn Nursery on Facebook. And I can answer any questions you may have.